Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem which is x plus 2 times x plus 3 times x plus 4 this is equal to 990. So what are the values of x? And given that x is not equal to 0. So let's prevent the solution from here. So the first step is to let x plus 3 b equal to t so let's x plus 3 b equal to t so this implies that remember we have x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 4 this is equal to 990 so from here if x plus 3 is equal to t this implies that x plus 2 this is the same thing as t minus 1 and we have that x plus 3 this is t then we have that x plus 4 x plus 4 this is the same thing as t plus 1 so we have here t plus 1 this is equal to 990 so here we have t minus 1 times t plus 1 then everything here multiplying by t this is equal to 990 so t minus 1 this is in the form of a minus b and t plus 1 this is in the form of a plus b and you know that a minus b times a plus b this is the same thing as a squared minus b squared so applying this identity then here we have t squared minus 1 squared which is the same thing as 1 then multiplying by t this is equal to 990 now this implies that if we expand this we have t squared times t this is t to the power of 3 minus 1 times t this is t this is equal to 990 we can express 990 this is the same thing as 1000 minus 10 so this is t to the power of 3 minus 10 that is minus t this is equal to 1000 subtract 10 1000 subtract 10 is the same thing as 990 so let's take 1000 minus 10 on the left hand side so that we have t to the power of 3 minus t minus 1000 then plus 10 this is equal to 0. So this implies that here we have t to the power of 3 minus t minus 1000. We can express 1000 basically as 10 to the power of 3. So we have here 10 to the power of 3, then plus 10. This is equal to 0. So we have t to the power of 3 and 10 to the power of 3 so this means that we have t to the power of 3 minus 10 to the power of 3 then subtract t plus 10 this is equal to 0 now from here we have t to the power of 3 minus 10 to the power of 3 subtract we can express t plus 10 as into the bracket here this is the same thing as t minus 10 this is equal to 0. t cubed minus 10 cubed, this is actually in the form of the difference of two cubes, expressed as a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, which is a minus b, a squared plus ab plus b squared. So applying this identity, from here we have t minus 10, then we have t squared plus 10t then plus 10 squared which is 100 so from here let's call this equation 1 now let's combine the first part a with the second part so we have t minus 10 here we have t squared plus 10t then plus 100 then subtract here we have t minus 10 this is equal to 0 
we have that t minus 10 is common here. We can factor out t minus 10 so that now into the parentheses we have t squared plus 10t plus 100 minus here we have 1 cross the bracket here this is equal to 0. So this implies that we have two parts here. The first part is t minus 10. This is equal to 0. The second part here is t squared plus 10t. Then plus 100 minus 1. This is 99. This is equal to 0. So this implies that from the first part, we have that t1 is equal to 10. We have t1 is equal to 10. The second part here is a quadratic equation of the form a t squared plus b t plus c. This is equal to 0. From this quadratic equation, we have a is equal to 1, b is equal to 10, and that c is equal to 99. So this implies that a, we can solve for t2, comma t3 by applying the quadratic formula. That's minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 is c. Everything here divided by 2 times a. Substituting these values of a, b, and c, then we have minus 10 plus or minus the square root of b squared. This is 10 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, then times c, which is 99. Everything here divided by 2 times 1. So we have that a, this is minus 10 plus or minus the square root of, we have 10 squared, this is equal to 100 minus 99. We have 99 times 4, this is equal to 396. Everything here divided by 2. So we have here minus 10 plus or minus the square root of 100 minus 396 this is minus 296 everything here divided by 2 so we have that here we can express this is minus 10 plus or minus we can express the square root of minus 296 as this is the same thing as 4 times 74 times minus 1 everything here divided by 2 so this implies again here we have minus 10 plus or minus the square root of 4 this is 2 square root of minus 1 this is i then square root of 74 everything here divided by 2 so 2 is common here we can factor out 2 so that we have 2 into the parentheses, this is the same thing as minus 5 plus or minus i square root of 74. Cross the parentheses, divided by 2. So let's simplify here. So that now we have that t2, comma t3, this is equal to minus 5. We have minus 5 plus or minus i square root of 74. Now we have that t1 is equal to 10. t2 comma t3, this is minus 5 plus or minus i square root of 74. So remember these are two complex solutions. These are two complex solutions. Now if you recall, we are saying that let t b equal to x plus 3. So let's solve for the values of x from here. We have that t1 is equal to 10. So let's substitute here. We have 10 is equal to x plus 3. So this implies that x1 is equal to 10 minus 3. And that x1 is equal to 7. We have the first value of x, which is 7. Now we have again here, t2, that is t3, this is equal to minus 5, plus or minus 
i square root of 74. So we have that t2 is equal to minus 5 plus i square root of 74. And that t3 is equal to minus 5 subtract i square root of 74. So this implies that x2 will be equal to, now we have x plus 3, this is equal to minus 5 plus i square root of 74. So let's take plus 3 on the right hand side so that now x2 is equal to minus 5 plus i square root of 74 subtract 3. So this implies that x2 is equal to minus 8 plus i square root of 74. And we have that x3 will be equal to x plus 3. This is equal to minus 5 minus i square root of 47. So again, let's take plus 3 on the right hand side so that now x3 is equal to minus 5 minus i square root of 47 subtract 3. So this implies that x3 is equal to minus 8 minus i square root of 74. This is 74, sorry. 74. Also here we have 74. So we have that x2 is equal to minus 8 plus i square root of 74. And x3 is equal to minus 8 subtract i square root of 74. So these are two complex solutions for x. These are two complex solutions for x. So let's verify. The next step is to verify. So let's verify that x1, which is equal to 7, satisfies the equation. If you recall from here, we end that that is x plus 2, x plus 3, x plus 4. This should give us a value of 990. Okay? So let's substitute x, which is 7. So we'll have 7 plus 2, 7 plus 3, 7 plus 4. This should give us a value of 900 and 90 okay so 7 plus 2 this is 9 multiplied by 7 plus 3 which is 10 multiplied by 7 plus 4 which is equal to 11 this is supposed to give us a value of 990 so 9 times 10 this is 90 times 11 this is supposed to give us a value of 9 90. So 90 times 11, this is 990, which is equal to 990. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this proves that x1, which is 7, satisfies the equation. So this implies that we have three solutions to this algebra problem. One leaf solution and two complex solutions that is x2 and x3 so kind of for the steps like this video and subscribe country like this video and subscribe see you in the next video bye bye